guys. So I feel like Tuesday's vlog was a success and there's another interesting thing happening today. So I thought it'd be a good idea to sort of film the day. So for those who don't know, Formula E is coming to London this weekend. It's at Battersea Park, Saturday and Sunday, two races, one on each day. And to celebrate, Vorsteiner and Apt, um, Vorsteiner being a beer company who sponsor Apt, are throwing what they're calling Electric Thursday. So maybe it'll be interesting. I was invited as a gold VIP. No, no I mean, is, it, is there a bronze VIP? Maybe there's a platinum VIP? Whatever it is, we're going to go there and find out. I have training first. The party starts at half past six in the evening, obviously, not in the morning. So I'll have a gap between training and the actual thing itself. So maybe we'll do something interesting in that gap. I might go watch a movie. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll see you guys somewhere further along the line that isn't me walking down the street on the way to the station. And no, I'm not going to do another one of those, like, bunch of sh you know the thing I did on Tuesday with the tapping of the oyster? I'm not doing another one of those, I promise. Quick side note, there was that issue with audio drift in that video on Tuesday, if you didn't know. If you didn't notice, what happened was at the start, the audio was completely fine. And as time went on, the audio got more and more out of sync. I think it was something to do with the fact that the rear camera was recorded at 60 FPS. So I'm going to not do that today and see how it goes. But otherwise, I think that was a really good video. So guys, I, I, got, I just got lunch. Um, it's a naan bread wrap. And these things generally are really great. And they're just awesome. So have a bit of lunch, go back to training. But soon, we will be on our way to that event. And that is going to be great. And I'm going to try and cross the road without getting hit by a car. That is... Um, Something that some people aren't as good at, but you know. Hello everyone, I'm Peter. Uh, you may not know me, but I work with George. Well, I'm in training with George. I'm actually his coding superior and I give him a hand every now and again. Basically, you'll be hearing from me much more very often yeah, in the near future. That's it. So here's the thing. It's currently about 4 p.m. and the event doesn't start for two and a half hours. Now, getting there is roughly a half an hour walk or 20 minutes by bus but either way I don't particularly want to turn up there now so what I'm thinking of doing is going to a cafe or something chilling out there for an hour maybe an hour and a half I've actually got my surface with me to get some work done and I'm wearing this bag the wrong way around but I'm gonna go to somewhere like a cafe just chill out for about an hour get some work done probably start editing this as well so much like Tuesday filmed edited and uploaded all by my phone is the plan and it's getting very loud all of a sudden. Ah! Anyway, guys, I'll find somewhere to sit and I'll let you know. But soon we're gonna we're gonna be at the event. It's gonna be so much fun. So I'm in Eat. I just picked up a coffee. It's one of my favourite places to go for coffee, actually. So I do have a surface, as I mentioned. So I'm just gonna sit here for about an hour, get some work done. We'll see how it goes, and I'll head out to the party accordingly. Quick side note, I was just scrolling through Snapchat and I realized that on Google's story they said today's the day and went through the full list of current Android versions, meaning we're gonna find out what N is. I can't, this is gonna be interesting and something that I might mention later in the video if I remember. If not, it's probably in the comments and I'm probably gonna be talking about it in the Tech News Roundup. So if you don't hear about it, don't worry about it. The name of the new version of Android is Nougat. Nougat. I'm gonna make a joke about that for TNR, I'm sure. But it's official now, and I like it. It's it's kind of what I expected, to be fair. It's currently half past five, though, so I'm about to head out. Um, I'll stick with my. T I have a tie in my bag. I'll stick that on when we're close to the place. Let's get going. I have roughly half an hour of walking to do, mostly because I'm not really feeling like getting on a bus in central London. Because no, just no. Let's head off, and I've got some work done um, for a bit, for a top secret video that's coming next week, and is one I'm really excited for personally. So yeah, let's get going. Today's been a good day. Today's been good. Lots of fun. Look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm as I said, I'm roughly eight minutes away, but bloody hell. The amount of hours put into this, it's 
probably huge. That is unbelievable. It looks like there are people up there having fun as well. That's always good. But that is just amazing. The one thing I will never forget from Hong Kong is bubble tea. And I have to say, I am craving it right now. Oh well. We're gonna cross this road, go around, I'll say my name and hopefully they'll let me in. <laughs> or they'll be like, ah, oh, it's a prank. We didn't actually want you here and we thought it'd be funny if we emerged you. So not only did they let me in, they gave me a band. <laughs> Woo! So, um, yeah, we're here now, and that's that's the outside view. That looks great, and I'll flip the camera around so you can get a better view. Hang on. So this is the great outdoors that is London. Um, it's not really that great, let's be honest, sir. But um, yeah, but it looks. You can see kind of there's a big contrast in terms of sort of this side, which is all skyscrapers and stuff, and even then it's not that much. And then as we go over here, you'll find just a bunch of buildings. Um, but yeah, as you can see sort of there's constant construction going on just by the amount of things in the background just being built as we speak. There are cranes all over the place. So yeah, I mean there, it, just this bit here is the train line I'll be on to get home later. But for now we should wander around and take a look inside. Just in case you're wondering who's sponsoring this and how serious they are. They brought their own bloody table football table. And, and a TV, and more art. We've seen lots of art today. It's a very arty day. The poshest water I've ever seen. Just in case you were wondering, that right there is the reason we don't stick with flat roofs nowadays. Just your own mini swimming pool. The thing I'm most interested in in this room is this camera. But if you look over here, you will see Right over there, Lucas de Crassi and Daniel Abt. I think Abt has disappeared. Oh no, he's just around there. See, Daniel Abt, he's there as well. Just like, there. See, and yet, this camera is what I'm currently staring at. What's up guys? So, this is the outdoors that you've seen. And then we have these two here, making beer. Just, do you want to make a shout out? Hey guys, shout out to everyone yeah, on the internet. Oh, Woo! Enjoy the vlog. Come and see us, Ace Hotel, baby. And remember, Borsteiner beer is the best beer. It's wrong way round. Ta-da, magical. <laughs> and here are the stars of the show. <laughs> Lucas Degrassi and Daniel Apt, the two Formula E drivers, going at it at a game of foosball, as you do. The question is, who will win? Oof. Teammate rivalry right there. We have with us tonight the whole team and also the drivers, Lucas Degrassi and Daniel Up. We're going to talk to them a little bit later. But before we get to the motorsport talks for those petrol heads amongst us, I would like to introduce you to our lovely hosts, Oliver Jentsch, and Alexander Azene from Warsteiner, welcome. One point over Sebastian Wilhelmi, and two races ahead, just uh, hands at heart. How nervous are you today? Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all hello, one, two. Four, it's bad. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure again to be here. Uh, we have to thank our partners, these uh, uh, when people see us racing on the racetrack, they always think about the driver, but to win a championship or to win even a single race, or to be able just to build a team the way we build it, we need not only the drivers, we need the, the whole team, we need the partners behind, and to have strong partners is very important. So to arrive here again in another season, fighting for a championship again, one point in front, after the fantastic season uh, we had so far, I have to thank uh, my team for giving me such opportunity um, and uh, I feel very comfortable, very strong to arrive to this race 
and extract the maximum out of the car. So no, I'm not nervous. Yes, we can do the job. Um, we have to have a little bit of luck. We have to have a little bit, um, let's say, an extra feeling from what's coming for the two races. The weather has to help us, but I'm completely confident that with the team that we built so far, with the quality of our partners, the quality of our drivetrain, uh, we'll be uh, uh, able to fight for the victory. We still have a lot going on here. There's more food to come, but of course we also have a few uh, things to entertain you over the course of, uh, of the night. Uh, not least our photo box. So Jack is standing in front of Jack in the box. Jack in the box. <laughs> right, so um, Jack and I are going to use the photo box in a second, yeah? Um, this is a social media toolbox, so you can actually take some pictures and post them while you're here or print them out. I've done that, but my picture looks ridiculous, so I'm not going to show it to anyone. Uh, but perhaps uh, here, Lucas and Daniel are going to be up for it a bit later. Also, we have a graffiti artist that looks surprisingly real. So, do you, want to, do you want to talk us through your thought process as you pour these? Basically, we always pour in three steps. The first one was not the good one. This one is going to be much better, right? This takes about four minutes, one minute to long. Hey, come on. No, 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 it's not the right time. It's you. You now you see, three steps. Three steps. What are the three steps? Can you tell me? So what or what are the three steps? What are the three steps? Uh, three folds of the glass with a proper foam. Then you try to fit it to brim and then you top it to make it the most beautiful. It will be properly done here, but this was not the perfect way to do this. So now we have the topping. Ah, the finishing. And it's you get the crown. To get a crown, perfectly, yeah. To keep all the freshness inside, with the foam inside, with the CO2 inside, and to really get the right taste of our stand. Just the feeling is a little bit too high. It's a pity. Because the first step was not a good one. And that is how you pour the perfect Vorsteiner. I can't German. <laughs> do, do you want to say it properly? Vorsteiner. There we are. That one. That's how you pour one. <laughs> right, guys. So, awesome time. Look. We're currently leaving. Hey! hey. hey. So where are, where are we going? I'm not actually. I didn't hit. I didn't catch your name. Uh, Adam. No, I mean, where are we going? Oh, we're going to um, Jean Bags Jaguar Shoes. Exact that that place. Let's yeah, go. It used to be a shoe shop. That's why it's called. Well, a shoe, a shoe and uh, bag shop. That's why it's called Jean Bags Jaguar Shoes. It's a legendary place. So yeah, we're gonna head down there. Should be fun. It's currently. I should mention this actually. Because if you're wondering why this hasn't been published at a normal 10 p.m. publish, yeah, actually, side note, all of my videos are usually published at roughly 10 p.m. It's and midnight. It's, yeah, it's midnight. <laughs> so if you're wondering why the video isn't up yet, it's because I haven't even looked at editing yet. I haven't even considered the possibility of editing this video yet. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> and I'm finally on my way home. So I've booked an Uber. Should be here in roughly five minutes. And the plan is I'm gonna edit this video on the on the uber home upload it also on the uber home and this might be up at like roughly 3 a.m this is crazy so um it's been lots of fun i've met some really great people and the event itself was really great genuinely genuinely nice everyone was it was it was just a crazy event everyone at apt was great everyone at pretty uh what's the name of that beer company god damn it i've forgotten that those guys were great as well, and it's, it's one of those things where it, I'm, it's 2 a.m. I'm kind of drunk and shut up. <laughs> but no, it was genuinely really nice. So thank you to everyone, and thank you to the people who invited me, who thought it'd be a good idea for me to be there, because you guys were so damn wrong, but you invited me anyway, so thanks. And I'll see you guys later, I guess. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to hit like if you like the video. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one and I'll see you guys next time.